So, I'm going to try and attempt to make a less shaky, better video inside the machine. In case anyone's interested, you can see a cable there going to one side of the bulb connector. And from that to the other side of the bulb connector. These are something to do with the frequency. They aren't adjustable. There's some thing there maybe where you can poke a screwdriver in. And adjust. Oh no, that's just a uh, just a cover there. Look. Then you've got the cables to this thing, which go to the back of the SWR meter. There. Note the instructions, which I hadn't followed religiously, but I had 100% left the machine on for too long. Now. There's the problem. And there. And also that one there. So that would be, those three would need replacing and also those two. Now I don't want to do this myself, so I'm gonna have to find somebody and pay them to do it. Uh, this unit needs to come out, I see. It's fixed in there, it's fixed in there, this aluminium plate which this board sits upon. I presume this would have to come out to get to the underneath. I've seen a method of just ripping them off with pliers, but that was for very small ones, so I don't think I should uh, give that a go. But I need to get this thing repaired. I have sent the company in Canada an email about it. There's the fuse, fuse holder jobby. And I don't know what that is in there. I'm presuming that's the power supply there. And this is the one part is the frequency generator. And then one part does the stuff to the plasma. So let me just focus in on this. It will be upside down for a second. That's a Uniden Corporation America model PC68. Excel, I'm trying to read it upside down, but anyway, you can see that. So if you're interested, you can find out what that is. It's also got that there. And it's also got the rev of the board. I presume uh, that Resonant Light Canada uh, make the board themselves. Because they're obviously well into their advanced technology. I'm presuming that white stuff's normal. That's the front hour meter, which was on 3,000. It had done 3,000 hours happily until I left it on way too long. Around the other side, we have these. Uh, what are these things? I don't know what they are. If someone could tell me. You can probably look that up, can't I? I don't know if it's some kind of relay. Nice connectors on the back, all proper. You can see these uh, MOSFETs, they're glued to this, so that would be, that would all have to come out in one lump. But yeah, beautifully made machine. Beautifully made machine, and I do love this company. Um, hoping they can repair it, obviously, but we shall see. Right, yeah, that's it for now, so I'll keep you, anybody interested, I will keep you updated. All right, have a great day. Bye. So, we shall end on a very positive note, and that is that this uh, frequency generator still works perfectly, so there's no problem with that. What's happened hasn't affected this at all. If we look at the back, we can see that's the 31st of May 2010, uh, but maybe it was made in 2008, I'm not sure. But that works perfectly. It's a shame it's only got one channel, okay, and that is here. The four pin connector, that's for connecting it to the plasma malarkey. That's a cable to connect it to your accessories, which would be pads or LEDs, would, works with both. Then that's your, one second. Then that's your minimum and maximum for the amplitude. That may not be the exact right word. And there's an RS-232 connector, and you can connect this to a PC 
uh, via that connector using a USB to RS-232 and that way you can program this device yourself. So it will show you a menu here. So we hit one, select bank, zero, one, enter, start level, always start at level one. Additional bank, no, beat when done, yes. So that will run from there. So there's no problem with that. Uh, so that's something good. I'm just going to test the bulb and see if that works in my other machine. So this is a bulb out of the machine that had the problem. And I'm going to put that in my other machine and hopefully it works. Okay, I gave up on that idea because the bulb just felt a bit too tight to fit in there. So I'll put the old one back. So... Yes. Very happy to see that come on. So I haven't tried swapping the bulbs over. Uh, because I don't want to be breaking this one as well. So I'll update you on the progress if I get any Find anybody local who wants to have a go at repairing it. That's got to be my first option also wait for Resonant light to give me a ring back. Uh, if you watch this video resonant light, I 100% apologize for using a drill to get the safety torque screws out the front and the back I know that was a disgrace and I do apologize, but <clears throat> So hopefully if you can get in touch with me you can maybe repair it for me. Thank you very much. Bye